But for what I've been seeing out of Arkansas, they got a lot of fight. They got a lot of grit in them, you know, and they do not give up, man. That's that's the that's a really really good thing that I see uh, for Arkansas, man. They don't give up. They gonna fight your ass to the end, no matter if you beat them by fourteen, twenty one, or hell, you beat them by two or three. It doesn't matter. It's like it's kind of like us, man. You know, it's kind of like Alabama. They don't really see the scoreboard. All they see is you in front of them. You know, whoever they man is. And they try to kick your ass. That's that's pretty much what it is, guys. What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please still subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff, man. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me to grow. And also to all my return subscribers, thank y'all so much, man. So much for coming back, watching all of my videos from beginning to end. I love you guys. I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby. Y'all I got. And um, guys, tonight's video, man. Tennessee versus Arkansas Razorbacks. And guys, is that is at the Hall Stadium? So the Halls are at the house. And um, yes, man. This is a this is gonna be a very very important game. But before I get into everything, man, let me just read y'all some of these stats and whatnot. How they, you know, how they leaders are doing uh, so far this year. We got Jaron Garantano, 60 out of 99 attempts, 699 yards, four tutties, and two interceptions. In which I seriously think he got more touchdowns and maybe more interceptions. But anyway, I want to read these stats. Eric Gray, 71 attempts, 330 yards, two tutties, and Jay Palmer, 15 recorded. 224 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, as far as uh, Arkansas, 83 out of 129 attempts, 895 yards, seven TDs, three interceptions. And um, Mr. Boys, 51 attempts, 188 yards, two touchdowns. Traylon Burke, 26 recorded, 366 yards and four tutties. And uh, I think Frank's got more touchdowns too, man. So anyway, but guys, um, this is going to be a very, very good game, man. For one, both these teams are coming off of losses, man. So I know that hey, you know they're gonna be they're gonna be playing lights out. They're gonna be trying their best, you know, to kick each other behind so they can get this win. And um, and another thing is, man, Tennessee they've been they don't lost three straight in a row, man. Three straight. You know they lost against um lost to Georgia again, of course, forty four to twenty one, in which they was leading in the first half. Lost to Kentucky, got destroyed, beat down. Don't know what the hell happened. And um. But then they lost to us, 48 to 17. So, guys, this is back to back to back losses for Tennessee, man. And on the other hand, you got Arkansas. They lost to Georgia, but it's like the beginning of the year. That was like 37 to 10, in which the first half they was leading as well. And um, lost to Auburn, which they should have won. Then they just lost to the Aggies, in which, you know, the Aggies was just a little too much and whatnot um, last Saturday. So, guys, you know, it's been more controversial for Arkansas. But with Tennessee, man, it's just been like they've been pretty much getting blown out like every week so far. And I know Georgia's a good team. I know we're a good team. But Kentucky, you know, like who who, who would have seen get to, um, Tennessee get blown by Kentucky, man? And they only scored seven points the whole game. So, guys, um, like I said, man, this is college football now. So, you know, a team could just suck one week. Hell, they can suck again the next week. But they ain't come out the next week and play lights out. It's all about, to me, it's all about schemes. It's all about play calling, you know. And it's all about, are your kids ready to play this game? You know, are they ready to play, man? Because to me, well, I've been watching Arkansas all year and whatnot because I got a lot of Razorback fans, and I got some Tennessee fans too. So I pretty, I've been watching everybody. But what I've seen out of Arkansas, man, that, that I'm kind of thinking, you know, I'm not going to say that just yet. I'm going to the end of the video to say what I'm going to say. But for what I've been seeing out of Arkansas, they got a lot of fight. They got a lot of grit in them, you know, and they do not give up, man. That's that's the that's a really really good thing that I see uh, for Arkansas, man. They don't give up. They are gonna fight your ass to the end, no matter if you beat them by fourteen, twenty one, or hell, you beat them by two or three. It doesn't matter. It's like it's kind of like us, man. You know, it's kind of like Alabama. They don't really see the scoreboard. All they see is you in front of them, whoever they man is. And they try to kick your ass. That's that's pretty much what it is, guys. And um, Arkansas, they really been coming close. They've been coming close this year, man, on some games, you know, that nobody was seeing them even having a chance in. I mean, come on, Auburn. 
But same thing again, Auburn been kind of, you know, but they just demolished LSU last week. So I guess they getting things to go, um, together. But they should have won that game. And I think it was another game that was controversial for Arkansas. But anyway, man, it just, Arkansas got a lot of fight. They got a lot of fight, man. They ain't going to give up. And plus, they at home and whatnot this week. So, man, I know they're going to play. They're going to play their best. And I actually gave the Hogs a um, nickname, the defense, DFH, which stands from defense from hell and whatnot. So, guys, I really like I really like the Hogs defense, man. Like, they've been balling out as well, man, and whatnot. So, guys, the Hogs, the Hogs, man, they got a definite good shot. They got a really good shot, man, of beating Tennessee. But Tennessee, on the other hand, I read, I've been reading some things Coach Pruitt been saying and pretty much, he's saying they need to cut down on the turnovers. They need to force turnovers on the defensive side. They need to get lower and whatnot and, you know, try their best to pose their will on the opposing team, in which they were everybody should be trying to do, you know. But um, but Tennessee, man, they just got to get they just gotta get their offense going too, man. Jerry Garantino, yeah, he's been there a long time. He got the experience. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's decent. He's a, good, he's a good QB. I'm telling you guys, it's like, I don't know, man. Tennessee been kind of giving me some – Mixed reviews because when they first started playing this season, man, they was kicking butt, man. They beat the hell out of Missouri, and they beat South Carolina. I mean, when it beat, they didn't beat the hell out of South Carolina, but they still beat them. But then it's like the third and fourth and fifth game, it's like they just fell apart, man. I don't know. Ever since they played Georgia, it's like it just went downhill. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what Tennessee could actually get back, you know, to what they was doing at the beginning of the year or not. But – after three losses, you would think so, man. I, I'm thinking Tennessee gonna come out firing, man. This game, I really do, because it's no way in the world you can lose three times back to back to back, and the way they have lost, it's not it haven't been close. I mean, they've been getting blown out. So Tennessee gonna have to come with some fire up their ass, man. Or else they gonna, I don't know, if they are gonna get blown out, but they are gonna get beat again. So this is gonna be a very, it's gonna be a hard game too, man, to predict because. Like I said, Arkansas, they new, okay? Well, they not new, but you know what I mean. New coaches, um, new coaching staff, man, and new players as well, you know, Felipe Franks and whatnot. So they got some they got some new things going. And this year, the first year now, they don't supposed to be this good already. Like, guys, they are already ahead of schedule, already. They playing on SEC money. They playing on house money right now, man. So either they don't win against Tennessee – as long as it's, you know, like reasonable, it's not no blowout, people still gonna get Arkansas the benefit of the doubt. They still gonna get Arkansas their respect because they only supposed to be, they only supposed to have the record they they have now, man. Like they still are doing their thing, man, with Sam Pittman. You know, they are doing their thing. As far as Tennessee, man. Um, yeah, guys, Tennessee, they they gotta come with it. If they don't, man, I can definitely see Arkansas beating Tennessee by at least 14 points, man. 7, 14 points because they not going to give up, man. Arkansas ain't going to give up. They're going to fight you to the end. You know, it's no quitting them. And not saying that Tennessee got quitting them, but it's just what well, I've been seeing these past three weeks, man. It's like Tennessee kind of, you know, I don't want to say giving up, man, <laughs> but it, they just ain't been playing well, man. They just haven't. And even with Arkansas, even when they do lose, you can still see the fight in them, man. So this is going to be um, this is gonna be tough, man. This is going to be tough because I don't think Tennessee's going out without a fight this game. I really think they're going to bring everything to this game because this is three losses. I can't, I can't, well, I ain't going to say I can't see them get another loss, but it's football, so anything can happen. But it's going to be, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for both teams on this because it just is, man. Three losses, and then you got Arkansas just coming out of loss, too. It's going to be hard, man. It's going to be rough, but you know, it's all good. Because this game right here, um, this game right here, man, it's it's gonna definitely, you know, have the team whoever wins this game, they're gonna be, you know, up spirits up and everything and whatnot because they both come off a loss. So you know, it could be good for whoever loses. I mean, whoever wins and whoever loses, you know, could be kind of bad. But um, definitely, man, Arkansas defense DFH guys, y'all gotta show up. The offense last week, y'all showed up. The offense showed up, man. They did their thing on um, on the Aggies and whatnot. They were scoring points left and right. You know, Trelon Burke. Oh my God, Trelon Burke. Boy, running that thing like a madman. Guys, I gotta do the same thing. You know, if y'all could do the same thing y'all did against the Aggies to Tennessee, man, I could definitely see the Hogs winning this game. But like I said, Tennessee, they're gonna come out all. They're gonna come out lights out as well because it's it's three losses. 
it, it's 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 three losses, man. So they got to come out firing. They got to come out shooting, you know. And offense, though, they offense got to get going as well, man. Plus they defense. It's just gonna take everything, everything. Offense, defense, special teams. Everybody got to get going, man. And um, but it's not gonna be easy for either team. I really don't see it gonna be an easy game for either team. Even though Tennessee's been getting pretty much blown up, but you gotta realize Georgia and and us. You know, okay, I can see that. I just can't see Kentucky, man. That's what that's what's getting keeping my keep getting in my head. Like, man, they got blown up by Kentucky. But you know, you can get blown out. Like I said, it's college football. You can get blown out one game, and next game you go blow out somebody that you weren't supposed to blow out. You know, we even supposed to beat. So we just gonna see what happens, man. We just gonna see what happens. But um, also, Hudson Clark, man. Um, and see in the secondary, Hudson Clark, yeah, at least as a starter ahead of Kari Johnson and um the field corner as of right now. Plus, Johnson's number has also changed from 19, number 19 to zero, which was Jacob's um, old number and whatnot. So, guys, uh, Hudson Clark, man, he's an interception, interception machine. I definitely want to see what my boy Hudson Clark going to do, man, against Tennessee. And uh, also, I want to see what Boyle going to do against – I want to see what Trey – I want to see what everybody's going to do and whatnot against um, Tennessee, man. Because, you know, I'm a Bama fan, so you know I don't really like Tennessee. But I'm being respectful because I know I got some Tennessee fans out there, man. So hey, I'm just I'm just trying to be respectful as I can and call this game and whatnot. Even though in my head, I kind of want a certain team to win. <laughs> Y'all probably already know. But anyway, um, yeah, this is gonna be a good game, man. And um, Jerry Garantino, man, he definitely got to get going too. He got to, you know, he got to complete some more passes, and he just gotta, he just gotta do better, man. He really does. He, he definitely got to do better. If you're going to have a shot of being Arkansas, well, Arkansas going to be hungry. They're going to be hungry as crap, man. It's like they're going to be eating. They're going to starve themselves. They're going to eat the whole day. They're going to be waiting on Tennessee to get there so they can eat on them. Like, that's going to be the game plan. They're going to want to feast the whole day, man. I, I know this. I promise you, they're going to try their best to just eat Tennessee up. So, Tennessee, y'all got to be y'all gotta be ready, man. Y'all got to be ready. And I think y'all will because y'all done lost three games, man. And I know I keep going back to those three games, but it's three games, and it's not having even been close. So it's no way I can see y'all just getting blown out again, you know, by another team, man. If it if that happens, then I don't know if Tennessee can recover, bro. That's like four games in a row. So that's why I'm just like, this is gonna be tough because there's no way y'all can get beat like that again, you know. So anyway, man, that's my conclusion, man, on this game right here, guys. I'm hoping. That um, you know, it's I, I know it ain't no hope in it. This is gonna be a good game. Plus, it's at the Hall Stadium and whatnot. So, guys, this is gonna this is gonna be a good game, man. I can't wait to see this game either. Of course, you know we off this week, so I can just check out everybody. I ain't gotta be trying to see my game. I I can just see everybody's game and see what everybody doing. But I'm definitely gonna be tuning tuning into this. But anyway, guys, much love, much love, guys, and all. Uh, stay tuned, stay blessed. I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.